this week due to announce our support for the Index Now protocol. This is a new feature from Bing and Yandex search engines that allows you to submit pages to those search engines for them to crawl and index immediately. That means in less than a minute, you can have your fresh content being returned actually in search results. I was able to go and sit down earlier this week with Fabrice from Microsoft to ask him a few questions about this new API and about this new protocol and get some background and kind of information about it. Let's watch it. Fabrice, thank you for, for joining us today and thank you to Agreen to talk to us about this new Index API uh, that's being released uh, yesterday, I think it is. So uh, let's let's just dive right in. You know, I've got a bunch of questions, just kind of want to ask you. Let's start right off the top. You know, what's what's the reason for you know Microsoft and, and Bing taking on this initiative to build this open API to allow kind of indexing of, of URLs uh, more quickly? Can you just give us a little backstory? Yeah, absolutely. This is uh, really to satisfy a uh, customer uh, searching in search engine, but this is for Bing or elsewhere. Uh, mm -hmm. We do believe that uh, answering timely information uh, relevant search is critical this day. Uh, the new generation is expecting to find quickly the latest content posted on the internet. Pain point historically has been that it can take uh, really from hours to days uh, for search engine to find the latest content on the internet. And so this is uh, this is not good for search engine. This is not good, especially for websites uh, that is expecting to see their latest press release, their latest price, their latest offer quickly found in search engine. And so IndexNow is a really best protocol allowing uh, website to easily uh, publish uh, quickly content in search engine to have this content change that this is new, updated or deleted content quickly reflected in the search engine. And uh, we do believe in it. We do believe that uh, this will be a game changer for the industry. Yeah, I, I can just add to this. You know, Duda sees this as a pain point with our customers all the time, where they come to us and say, "Hey, a site is not being indexed or crawled. It's not showing up in search results. How do I make that happen?" And we, you know, we, we kind of throw up our hands. We don't we don't have an answer. It's Duda is hosting the website. We're delivering the content. We're doing all the things we should but we have a little insight into <clears throat> triggering and really getting into that index process. So hopefully it's trying to you know, solve some of those, those pain points that I think real consumers and real site owners and real business owners actually see um, out there. Um, you know, just, just as part of this, Duda is going to be supporting this new protocol. Uh, we're in testing right now. We're gonna have it live by the end of the month. Um, so we're, we're really excited to support this alongside the release uh, with, with Bing. Um, cool. Uh, my next question for you is just kind of the, the broader community. Can you let us know what search engines are supporting this? If you know if any that are, are looking at it actively, what's kind of the group, right? Because it is an open kind of protocol, right? Yes, today this is uh, Microsoft Bing and Yandex are mm -hmm. supporting the protocol. Um, and this is an open protocol, being that this is open for every uh, major search engine uh, yeah. to join and benefit from it. So we communicate to the search engine, and this is, I'm telling you, hey, uh, you can benefit too. Uh, please uh, look with this uh, with us. And uh, additionally, what is key in the protocol, this is this, this, is this openness. I mean, you ping one search engine, uh, we will ping, uh, we will re-ping everybody. Uh, so all the search engine will not will benefit of this notification. Mean else, this is yeah the new the newcomers may not receive URL because they won't be added in some kind of config thing. Here you can ping all search engine. And and are you saying that Bing actually would go and ping? Let's just say like you know ask start supporting this or you know Baidu start supporting this. Bing would actually go and ping Baidu and say hey go and crawl this page if they were supporting it. Absolutely. So the. Yeah. The protocol allow when you ping a search engine, in fact, it's mandatory, <laughs> when you ping a search engine, we will re-ping behind the scene immediately uh, the other search engine to tell, hey, we receive this notification, be aware of this. A search engine can decide to crawl or not crawl. They do their own decision, but at least they are aware of a modification, notification from a website. And, and how does, and, and does the same trust mechanism, like how do you guys, how do you guys know that you're crawling the page that's being asked to crawl? And how do you kind of prevent fraud 
in that process. Absolutely. Now, so how does it pass through that chain too? Is it the same process? Yeah, so absolutely. So we made the protocol very, very easy to implement for uh, for site owner. It does not, and for content management system, and for CDN, and for the whole industry, in fact, it does not require, for instance, to have a Bing Webmaster Tool account. It's just a ping mechanism where you ping the search engine, but there is an extra key added to the URL. So this is an URL plus a key, and search engine verify that you are hosting this key on the website. Uh, so the key need to be, there is a specific format and so on uh, to specify the key, this is on the protocol site. And then we verify uh, that the key exists. So when we notify search engine, we just notify of this URL plus the key, and each search engine can decide, should I fetch this URL, yes, no. And if they are not aware of the key, yes, they will verify that the key exists. Again, simple things that work and will work for uh, mm -hmm. centuries ahead of us. Basic things work on the internet, and this is really uh, Internet 101, where you just push parameters via the para parameters in the URL. Yeah, that's that's great. This is one of the things Duda had to implement, you know, as part of this is we're generating, you know, this key, like you're saying, on a per site basis and automating that submission uh, on behalf of, you know, obviously all of our clients that are, are building sites. But like you're saying, it's it's as simple as hosting a text file, matching up what's in that text file within the key that you're submitting, and you're you're good to go. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, interesting. That's that's great. Um, can you can you talk to me about does this replace sitemaps? Like, what, what's the importance of sitemaps holistically? Or do you guys still do the passive crawling if you're getting this push crawling? Is 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 all of that still relevant and still you know do I still have to worry about crawl budget and all those type of things with this? Yes, yeah, so many questions, but great yeah. question. So first, this ping mechanism is really to address freshness. You tell us about something and quickly. Immediately, you should see the crawler coming uh, to see uh, these latest things that you notify us. We do honoristic, meaning if you ping us every one second of each every URL on your site, yeah, you, we may not come. But if you are really uh, pushing the latest content, yes, we will come to verify that you, you do the right thing. Second thing is that uh, this ping may not work. We may be done, you may be done, we may lose the ping, that's okay there is still this backup mechanism that is called sitemaps. Sitemap right. is just a listing of all relevant URL you have on the site. And in general, search engine will come to visit sitemap once a day uh, to have this listing of all relevant URL. Again, you list on the site. So this is a great backup mechanism. If a ping is not working, we will still rely on sitemaps to discover URLs uh, listed on the site. And then there is the crawling. And the key things that we try to achieve uh, via uh, this new protocol plus sitemaps is really to lower the crawl. Today, we have to crawl a lot to discover if the content has changed. And for sites that are adopting NX now uh, and having a good quality sitemaps, then we can really learn from you that, okay, this is a source of good quality information about added, updated, and deleted content. So let's leverage that and avoid crawling as we do a lot often to discover if you have changed the content. We don't have to crawl. Did you change? No. Did you change? No. Did you change? No. Here we are listening and waiting for you to tell us if you have changed. Yeah, that's that's great. So you, you talked you talked a little bit about kind of the quality there. How do you gauge quality? I think one thing that comes to mind for sites built on Duda is there are times where we have pages that don't have a lot of content. Maybe it's like a photo gallery and there's just a bunch of images and not a lot of text or, you know, we also have like sometimes just dummy sites or templates that are set up that are fake, you know, profiles. And how do you guys gauge that quality and, and just make sure that uh, when you guys are coming to crawl the site that A, it looks like it's quality and B, you actually want to go and process that and put it into your index and actually return those in, in results. Can you share a little bit? Yes, I think, think the index no as just a notification to the crawler to go to visit the page. Something has changed, something may be new. The existing logic that is in place uh, to audit the content, to verify if this is a spam site, if this is a good quality site, if this is a broken link, all of this still rely and is the same. So we are doing our own heuristic to understand the quality of the site or the quality of the page and to decide should we, is it valuable to put that in the index or not. But at least we are aware of the content change uh, helping us 
uh, to again reflect this uh, website change uh, within Bing.com. Got it. Got it. And I think you know, kind of the, the big one of the big open questions is: Do you guys know if Google is going to support this? Like, are they on board? Are they not? Yeah, since yesterday and the days before, obviously they are aware of this uh, change. And uh, at this point, I cannot speak for Google if they okay. will support uh, or not. We do believe that this is a benefit for the whole industry to support. Again, nobody, including Google, nobody knows when you, Russ, will post something on your website. Only Russ knows. And so when you post, only the content management system know. And this is uh, knowing that for the search engine is key uh, for customer success and to drive traffic to your site. Again, we don't know. No machine learning know. You know. And the content management system as Duda know that something has changed. Yeah, yeah. Got it. No, it makes makes total sense. And, um, you know, I, I think... I think the the kind of the, the the last question remaining on my mind is just, uh, do you guys kind of still respect the standard no index? Like if I have the meta robots or like you know no robot like robots.txt that block crawling, all of that still applies. Even if I submit a page, you guys would still kind of respect the same process. All of that's the exact same. Yeah, exactly the same. Yeah. They say just to order. The crawler, let's go to visit this page. You tell us something has changed. Yeah, good insight. We are coming to see the page has changed. The page has changed, great story. But there's still the same pipeline uh, apply in terms of spam detection or no index or everything. It's yeah. just bonus for the search engine. You are helping search engine to reflect your website change within the search engine. You win, we win, everybody is winner. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Um, Fabrice, anything I missed? Anything else that you feel is, is relevant in this conversation? No, what I, so first, thank you, Duda, for adopting. Yeah. This will benefit your customer a lot. Absolutely. And um, so that's that's great. And so we are looking at adoption, not only from content management system as Duda, thank you again, uh, but also from, uh, CDN has adopted, Cloudflare, yeah. Akamai is adopting. So this is helping us to know what cached on the internet uh, to learn from this. Uh, but also, if you see, sometimes you have solutions that are uh, proprietary for some top site, let's say uh, Facebook is not built on Duda so far. Uh, so this is helping, uh, yeah, this is uh, other uh, top sites uh, that will be looking at adopting NXNO uh, for their own benefit. So the, Often the largest site, obviously, this is challenging for us to discover what has changed on, on Facebook and elsewhere. Mean that if you post something, will we know about it? No, we have to crawl a lot to discover if this thing has been changed. Uh, the same apply to small sites. Sometimes this is some uh, family sites. And yes, we don't want to crawl these sites every five minutes to discover if the content has changed. So this is adopting when you have a proprietary solution that not yet use Duda as content management system. Uh, this is also great for you to integrate with IndexNo to notify uh, us about change, or you just implement Duda and you are done because Duda will support this by default. Yeah, I, I hadn't, that makes total sense. I hadn't thought about the directory sites of a Yelp or something like that, that, you know, they, they have content that needs to be fresh. So that makes that makes total sense as well. I hadn't thought about that, but but that's uh, that's great that, that we we're seeing adoption there as well, kind of across the board. So great, Fabrice, thank you so much for for joining us. Really appreciate you taking the time to answer a few questions, um, and and again, thank you for for pushing this out and, and making it a successful launch. Thank you, thank you, Lisa. Right.